So my friends and I have been planning and saving up for this trip now for the past few months. Um, basically, we're going to take off some time from work and drive as far across the country as we can by road. Going through Canada and the United States. Um, Spencer, a good friend of mine from high school, we've been friends now for over 10 years. Um, and my buddy Trey, who I met in college and we've been best friends ever since. Uh, the three of us will be traveling across the country. Um, we'll be starting off right here in Windsor, Ontario. Um, and then we'll be working our way up to Toronto uh, where we'll be picking up our RV. And we'll be taking that all the way to Vancouver where we'll be dropping it off and then setting out on a new adventure from there. We haven't quite uh, worked out all the details yet, but um, it's going to be quite an adventure. Um, we'll be stopping a lot along the way just to check out scenery, to link up with old friends we have along the way. Um, you know, none of us have ever traveled this far by road or, you know, been on quite a road trip or an adventure quite this big before, so, you know, we have a lot to do and uh, a lot to see in such a small amount of time, so hopefully we get a, we get a good look at everything there is out there. quite an adventure for the three of us. Last thing in Windsor for a while. Just put a few last things together before we head out to London tonight.
can't save his water. Devin's just Devin behind the Devin's thing. Just a little bit. Stuff ready. We just went on our ride to go pick up our RV. Beautiful camper. Ready to go. Been waiting all day. Let's do this, man. Let's go. Get in your seat, buckle up. Rolling out of the RV rental. On our way out. Cab is first time driving a big ass camper. Gonna make his way through the rugged streets of Toronto. See how that works for us. Turn right onto the ramp. Turn right. JP, we are on our way. Just got on Highway 400, heading towards Barrie. Up with Bryce on the Trans Canada Highway. Only ones around. A little sweaty. Just watching cars go by. Middle of nowhere. Just making a quick stop for some gas before we get to Sault Ste. Marie. Um, it was about a 200 liter tank, so it's going to cost us anywhere from 200 to 300 bucks to fill this thing. Just going through Perry Sound right now. Pretty curvy, pretty rocky, and uh, it's looking pretty beautiful. Thank you. 
Hello. There you go. There you go. We have arrived. Beauty. What up, fam? What up, fam? <laughs> going on? What up? Uh, hey, where do I load up, man? Oh, uh, we'll let you in. Uh, what up, dog? What up? Uh, Yo, this is my boy Trey. What up to the people? Just drove about seven hours to Sault Ste. Marie to get to this guy. Mm hmm. We're about to step in. <laughs> kilometers down this shit. Branches, potholes, sticks and trees, and you barely see a fucking thing. How do y'all feel about this? Okay. Okay. A little bit sketched out, I don't know, man. It's really dark. It's really dark. I think I was just more concerned that my down payment and credit card is on the IV. <laughs> It's gonna be fine. And, and, and Trey's just taking us down a road he's never seen before. <laughs> I've never been down this shit. Before. Okay, so we just got to the end of a seven kilometer dirt road. And uh, we just found this crazy parking lot. Yo. All these random cars are parked here. Stray P just drove us. Go. Woo. I'm ready to relax. Ready to relax. Yeah. woke up um Trey P just went and took a shit in the outhouse wind is cold I don't think we got a ticket for parking illegally cab was waking up he had one of the greatest sleeps ever but got abruptly woken up by us he says the sun feels warm on his shoulders other than that, it wasn't a bad sleep. Except for Cabot slept like a princess while we slept like peons. Anyways. Yeah. Okay, fellas, hang on. I'm getting us the fuck out of here. Don't go in that bathroom though, it's a straight poo hole. Straight poo hole, bro. Not only does it stink, it's only a hole in the ground for you to poop in. 
You didn't even have to bring TP. But it's just a hole. It's fucking bad, man. cold was that shit? Oh, it's cold, man. I got a superior soaker on my foot. I almost fell in. Waking. Almost took me out. It's very nice. It's very nice. It's Lake Superior. It is far superior to the other lakes. That is why they call it Superior. We're gonna head down to Tim Hortons, get ourselves a coffee, because it's early morning time. We just brush our teeth. And hello. Hello. Move it. Move it a little bit, sister. Yeah. 
Rappers got the blues, and I do too. Plus, we wear dirty shoes and dirty sneakers. Yo, check this out when I'm lead ya. The real rap reefer and rock cheeser. Loaded up on some bagel action. What'd you get, Jay? Everything bagel, cream cheese. <coughs> nice. You know how it is. How's that treating you? It's tasty. My breakfast. breakfast. Hey, man. How you? Gonna try to aim to get to Winnipeg, Manitoba tonight, but they just got hit with a snowstorm last night. It's relatively warm here. We'll see what happens. A northern tour guide. Commanding officer. The commanding officer, so hopefully we make it there in one piece tonight. A lot of driving ahead of us. Oh man, not looking forward to it. Well, 12 hours, right? Mm-hmm. Anywhere from 12 to 15 at our rate. Yeah. Maybe make some stops, I don't know. Are we stopping? Are we driving straight? Man. That was your camera. What's that? That was your fucking SLR, dude. About to cross the line. Dude, let's cross the line. Now, half in Ontario, half in Canada. 